um, heavy encroachment on buffer zones and rail lines in parts of the country are pushing the Ghana Rail uh, Development Authority to realign its rail lines to other areas. This is to avoid the mass decongestion of structures occupied by encroachers. The authority plans to acquire land to construct new railway networks linking all regions of the country. Here's more in this report. Abandoned for almost two decades, the Ghana railway system recently went through a major transformation. The defunct railway system resulted in encroachers erecting shops and temporary structures on the railways. Both sides of all rail lines have about 100 meters buffer zones. Chief Executive Officer of the Ghana Railway Development Authority, Yao Ousu, says the right-of-way was reduced to 50 meters to accommodate encroachers. But efforts are being made to revive the industry as there are plans to realign these rail lines. He was speaking at a stakeholder workshop on the Ghana Railway Master Plan. Remember, the, the railway industry has been defunct for a long time. It has been left idle. And people thought railway was never coming back. So therefore, they took, they took undue uh, advantage to build within the, the corridors or the, the right of way. All right. So for example, the railway line coming from Accra to Kumasi, because of the heavy encroachment at Alaba and Abu Abu, chances are we may have to take uh, what they call the branch line, okay, or what they call realignment. So the train will be coming from Accra it may end up in uh, Ejusu. And then you have to do new acquisition from Ejusu to Edwarden. Edwarden is also on the western line. So that will be the new focal point because of the heavy encroachment. Otherwise, you may have to destroy thousands and thousands of structures from uh, Doom Station to uh, Alaba, to Abu Abu, to Tech or to invest uh, common University of Science and Technology. Yao Ousu wants the government to subsidize the construction cost of the Accra railway line to the Buankra inland port in the Ashanti region. There have been a number of investors expressing interest in the project, but its capital intensive nature is pushing them away. The capital intensity will result in higher transport fares for trains compared to buses. There has been several investors who have come around, as I was trying to explain to you. B the BOT concept is the best, build, operate and transfer. But because of the high cost of constructing these lines, and because the investors don't have the patience to wait for 50 years, the only way you can recapture your investment on these lines, unless you have a government subsidy, whereby the government is willing to pick up any revenue gaps, Okay, and I gave an example, um, a train, I mean, um, bus transport from Kumasi to Accra is about 200 cities, VIP roughly, right? Now, to be able to justify an investment in Accra to someone will require about 500 cities. The trains have to charge 500 cities, which is very, very expensive. So the gap between the VIP cost versus the train cost, the government is, has to be willing to subsidize. And at the moment, the government doesn't have all of what they call sovereign guarantee. The investors want the government to give them an assurance that if there's any revenue gap, they will pay them the difference. The government that doesn't have that luxury because of our financial constraint. For Joy Business, Mona Lisa Frimpon reporting.